In this video, we're gonna be designing a sci-fi hatch. Let's go. Look, modeling is important, I know, but so is everything else in the design process. In our free hard surface jumpstart course, you will not only feel more comfortable with hard surface modeling, but also confident with rendering and excited about your new game-changing portfolio. Link is in the video description. Let's get started. Hi guys, Ryu here from Blender Bros and let's get started. So let's create this one and apply scale Q and solidify it down a little bit, maybe a bit deeper, right? And let's turn on this magnet here, press D, circle, and be in perspective view, okay? That's important. Hold control and draw a circle. Now hold shift and scroll up until you see 100 verts here. Okay, and then E, bring it down and press space. Now we're going to apply that with Ctrl Sharpen, grab this one, Q and Shift Curve Extract and bring it up here. Sharpen, grab this circle, Ctrl B and chamfer it. I'm going to apply a bevel, right, and Alt click on Sharpen to add weighted normals. Now let's talk about this one, okay. These connections here are not really uh, very good, okay, because they're very steep. If you're going to create, um, you know, something like a chamfer here, gonna get these nasty pulls you could uh, technically remove them by um, disabling the loop slide which for some reason doesn't work now hang on let me just try that again a loop slide there we go but it's a better practice to actually fix it so I'll text with uh, with mesh machine to the other side let's grab this one press a and cut it then we can remove these two, right? Click out, click with mesh machine and create a bit of a chamfer here. Then we're going to run a bevel on this, kind of like a supple bevel, right? And wait it almost cool. So that's our base for, uh, you know, for this project, right? Okay, that's better, right? So then what we need to do, we need to create some design, right? So let me show you. So what we're gonna do first is we're going to grab this and we're gonna insert it to create a tiny kind of like an edge around it. So we're gonna be able to run the trim sheet later on. And we're going to insert it one more time, so it's a bit denser here, like that. Okay, and we're going to um, insert it one more time to create another, uh, this kind of a um, strip here. And now what we need to do is we need to select all this, and we're going to shift curve extrude it up, okay? Let's apply that, and then we're going to select this one and this one right and alt s and move them a little bit in so they're kind of smaller right than the original size here right and we're going to drop it down so now what we need to do is remove the bevel here right and also clean this because we have all these unnecessary you know edges here so let's go here operations and clean mesh and you're going to be uh, left with you know two connecting edges that's a bit better so here what we need to do is we need to slice it okay so let's go by then go and turn off this side click and draw a line to the middle here with control holding control press t to solidify it to a specific um, thickness and just slice now important thing to understand is not to uh, you know create uh, these uh, these uh, segments even you want to uh, create them in a sort of an uneven fashion so let me show you Switch here to cursor, and we're gonna shift D that and rotate it on the cursor uh, to maybe somewhere here. You could hold Control and you know difference, and then shift D and rotate it here, and you know uh, difference, and then maybe one more. So shift D and rotate it somewhere here, and difference. Okay, and you're gonna get this uneven sort of um, slices, right? We're gonna select this one and difference. Okay. And now we need to recover the cutter, okay? So, you know, have a scroll. So now we're gonna grab this one, right? And we're going to uh, smart apply this, okay? Um, there we go. And um, we're going to create, let's just clean that with three. And we're gonna create bevels, okay? So here, here, right? Select these two. And before we actually do that, let's check if we don't have any double edges, like see here, let's go to local. There is a double edge, so dissolve this, and you know, let's see here. This is fine. This is fine, and here, let's just see that. What's going on here? I think it's fine. So yeah, that's good. 
that's good okay so let's select these uh, edges here on the on the you know on the corners right and the reason why I'm doing it this way is because then it will ensure that the bevel is going to be uh, even so small bevel right really small not the big one right small is fine and this is going to curve these uh, you know these edges here a little bit and uh, this is a bit too deep so what we can do is if I scroll this and move it a little bit up so you know it's not too deep that's actually pretty cool i like that we could create some interesting cuts here on top of that okay so let's say for example we could grab a end gun here and turn on cyclic back on we could create some really interesting cuts in here like for example uh something like this here but to be honest i would be needing uh, a rounded edge here so maybe we're gonna borrow an edge from uh from uh from this cutter so let's uh, borrow an edge here like this are we going to uh control click on curve extract which is gonna extract this edge we're still in a course orientation so we can scale it outside like this on a cursor and we're going to uh, bring this outside here a little bit okay bring this here here and connect these two with f and just you know bring it in so it kind of follows the angle here okay needs to be more or less here perpendicular to this one it's gonna make sense and then we're going to select all these and press f and then e move it down and then a out n and recalculate outside so what we're gonna do here is we're going to change this one here before we do anything shift pull to a slash okay then we're gonna grab this one lower it down right and then we're gonna slash that okay so booleans and slash so let's uh, uh you know let's grab that and never scroll again okay and we're gonna borrow this cutter here so this bit okay q and control curve extract and move it out right and then s and scale it out and then we're going to uh, create a, a cutter over here so now we can bring it closer here right let's just move this one in so we cut in the middle here like this right then E here, and we're going to combine them here with an F, okay? So it's going to be a slash. This angle should be going like this, my bad. Yeah. It's going to be a bit more interesting, I think. There we go. So F and E, and you can actually do uh, select everything and, and shift M. It's going to do the same thing. And then, you know, boolean and slash, okay? It looks pretty good now we need to move this cutter a little bit so ever scroll and just move it a bit okay uh, there we go and i think that looks pretty pretty cool although maybe a straight line would be better uh, hmm. let's see that so select that and let's see maybe a straight line would be better like this or maybe what we could do is slice this one so we're gonna kind of slice this cutter on top of uh, on top of the original slash but it starts looking pretty interesting right cool now here we could have another pattern so we could have something like this going on so going in and maybe something like this okay and then we need to be careful here to cut only this part here so x and space there we go that looks nice let's ever scroll this again so let's select this one and ever scroll this there we go grab this one here like a longer one q curve extract gz and then let's just make it larger and extrude it in here and then extrude it along here in fact this is too big right needs to be somewhere here and then we're going to grab these two and shift D and scale them in right like this and then combine them here so F and then F and then select all F 
E. I want you to flatten them, guys. So S Z zero. Where is it? I need to flatten them on individual S C zero. There we go. Or you could use mesh machine. I mean machine tools. Yeah, just Alt uh, Alt A like this, and E down. Okay, and then sharpen. And we're going to you know booleans and slash it okay and that looks pretty cool i'm not gonna lie that's actually quite interesting i got this irregular pattern which is really awesome so we can save that and now you know what we could do we could just remove this one right so we could you know delete that so you could either delete that or actually we could leave it maybe leaving it's gonna be interesting i kind of like that so here in the middle we're gonna have another pattern um so we're gonna have this uh, rim here with trim sheets what we could do is you know kind of drop it down a little bit like this okay. all right drop it down a little bit not too much because you know it cannot be too deep and then i want to create additional shapes in here so let's let's grab that circle in the middle here and shift curve extractors scale it in a bit and sync it okay in fact now make it larger what i want to do is i want to cut it but uh, I need to first cut this cutter. So shift D, scale it in and do something like this and difference. Okay. And now I can create um, an interesting shape. Let's make this a little bit smaller. So something like that. And uh, now what you want to avoid here is you want to avoid sandwiching with the outer ring. So you see the distance here between these two edges. You don't want this to be... Uh, equidistant because it's gonna look kind of like a like a pattern you want to break it so either make it really thin or really thick okay make sure this goes through yeah this cutter here and then we can apply this so uh, operations and smart apply so now we can use this one to slash this one okay so booleans and slash right so we got this piece here in the middle and we can actually uh, slash it so control click to apply so we got this piece here and this middle piece okay so this one here in the very middle right could be lowered so apply that and grab this one and gz and you know, lower it a bit and you know chamfer it okay so it's gonna be in the middle here this one too could be you know could be chamfered right so it's gonna be nice and uh, centered cool now we need to slice this one, but before we do, let's also chair for this. All right, create this, uh, grab this tool and insert them a little bit. So we have a uh, room for our uh, trim sheet. And then we can slice it, okay? So we could design a pattern here um, using um, these shapes inside, okay? So Q and, you know, curve extract here, right? Curve extract, and we're going to switch back to cursor and scale it out here like this and grab this one here you know and the same kind of extract and scale it in right and then move it up and grab them too and control j them and then we need to level them okay so select all of these select one of these and align them with alt a and then we're gonna combine them here with f right let's actually create some interesting shape here so what we could do here is subdivide this okay and uh, remove this edge here and gg bring it in here and then um, bring it a little bit like this okay and then combine it here with f so we're gonna have these two kind of you know going like this and delete that select everything and then e and go down on z axis right and you know face this up here face this up here and uh we probably need to create some bevels here let's just fix the uh normal salt and flip outside i mean outside and create a bevel here and another bevel here okay we need to remove the original bevel and sharpen this right and we need another bevel here calculate sharpen and then we can cut it so grab this cutter here 
could move it a little bit closer to um, to the cursor and we can um, slice it okay so actually we could difference this so recover that right and bring it up here like this here we're gonna get this interesting pattern and we could technically mirror this you know so some parts could be mirrored so alt x and mirror to the other side and this is gonna be looking really really interesting okay we could have some kind of a handle okay so we could uh, follow this edge here to you know echo this uh, this line and we will need to borrow this bottom rim okay so let's grab this and borrow this bottom rim here All right so Q and curve extract and then scale it in again and move it up and this is a bit too too close let's just kind of follow right the distance here more or less and then what we're gonna do is we're going to slightly collapse this because it's too much and we can follow this line here you see like that so we kind of echoing this element here and I'll take to the other side and all we need now is you know a bit of this so Q curve extract scale it in right and then move it up and scale it in here and maybe a little bit further grab these two Control J now we need to align them so grab all these and alt a and combine them yeah so you know f and alt x now this is not perfect not a perfect circle so what we can do is subdivide this and gg here and then press c to move it in like this okay and alt x now we can use mirror tools to fix this okay if you don't have mirror tools grab them from github it's a free add-on uh, and it's going to really help you with a lot of things. Like, for example, fixing the, uh, the curvature here. So watch, you can scroll in and when you press on, when you click on the curve stretch, you can then choose the amount of points you want. We want probably like five and click and it's going to fix your curve. And then you can kind of finesse this and, you know, adjust it to your liking like this and then alt X and you're done. And then we're going to select that E, grab it down on the z-axis and then press F and grab this one press F select all and shift N and we need um, you know we need to remove the bevel first it's very important so remove the bevel the boolean is not important we can remove it too let me just cut this there we go sharpen and remove the bevel okay cool now we can um, can create a bit more supple corners here um, on these that's okay here and here and a bit more supple corners it's fine and we're going to cut it right so difference right then we got that this is really cool and top's gonna be untouched and here you know we could have some kind of a, a handle whatnot so we could even sink it deeper you know like really deep okay so maybe to this level so this one is deeper and we could have some handle here so we could apply this uh, all of it and then we can have uh, uh, we can grab this face here and inset it a little bit okay and then shift curve extract um, with control so you're gonna extract um, the face only because that's what we need and we're going to uh, remove this uh, this edge here so let's just uh, let's just uh, do something like this and remove these verts and alt x pg and now here i would like to well, actually this should be this is a little bit dense so what i'm thinking here is combine them and kind of move them here like this combine these two and then uh, shift control b to create much more supple corner and uh, you know gg and then e like this here maybe hmm and going down on the z-axis so these have to be you know uh, beveled so here mesh tools and curve extract 
press S to smooth it. And we're gonna drop it down, yeah. So we don't really need this anymore. And we're gonna scale it in. So on well, this time on individual. So actually no on the cursor. Um, so in fact, shift S to geometry and scale it on individual origins. Okay. There we go. Right. And we got this kind of a situation here. Okay. And uh, we need some sort of a. Uh, you know some sort of a mechanism here right so um let's just um i just cut this here all right cut this in and press t for solidification and space and i think we're good to go and of course we could have some you know additional elements here outside so we could uh we could have some fun with this floor outside here, right? Um, so slice it like this, you know, mirror to the other side, mirror this one, right? So let's mirror this across this one and this one across this one as well. There we go. And it should be okay. Let me apply this again. And then we can uh, run maybe another cut here so we could only cut like this okay right and mirror to the other side so mirror it like that and mirror it like that and then mirror both across this A to add another mirror and boom right and you got this kind of a situation so you're pretty cool so there you go, there's your hutch, right? And then, you know, the, the last thing to do is just, you know, texture it, right? So we could do this uh, using Blender Bros textures. Um, I can, you know, show you. They're really cool. Um, we are still working on them, um, but they're really showing a lot of promise. Let me just uh, grab this here and press P selection, right? All right, so um, you cannot get the mats yet. And, you know, there's gonna be an add-on coming up with the mats. But I can show you briefly how would I, you know, be using mats here. So I have quite a few created already. Um, so we could start with uh, some machine steel. Let me just go to render view. So the main shape could be, you know, made of machine steel. And this one in the middle could be made of this uh, white kind of a material, which is really awesome. Uh, these here could be made from aluminium, right? Or also the machine steel, it doesn't really matter. It could be like a white hatch, okay? The middle could be also machine steel, and this in the middle could be white, and this could be aluminium, right? So you got a really cool texturing here going in. And the outside could be also white, because why not? Uh, or this could be actually steel and this could be white. Um, I think it's going to look interesting, okay? So yeah, it's got an interesting pattern here. And then you're going to have fun with, with trim sheets. So here we're going to have to select that, go to PSDF and grab this mat. So let's just start uh, create a sphere and move it in here and drop this mat. And we're going to go to textures and add another one. And uh, we're going to add this powdered uh, silver and the side and go to D with uh, trim sheets and let's add something fun like for example this one so alt click there we go that's really cool and then we need another one here outside remember we had this rim here prepared for a trim sheet right select this whole thing here and we're gonna assign that and D like maybe this right there you go that looks pretty dope and then um, we could have another trim sheet here in the middle so plus and then you know powdered silver and we could assign another one here uh, let's say this one will do nicely there we go maybe not this one um, how about this one hmm Oh, that's gonna do nicely there we go cool 
Alright, awesome. And then we have some, you know, some decals, right? So uh, we could have uh, some interesting decals here. So adjust it. So one decal here and project it and then mirror it and then we go into assign the, the mat to it so d and match and let's run d shift through it to match it there we go that's gonna do now uh, we could have some text here so let's say uh, bay three uh, okay and project it and then of course we need to change the color of it so saturation to zero and make it darker there we go this is a little bit strong so we could drop the alpha on it there we go that's better don't make your texts you know too vulgar now here we could spread some bolts around so or some kind of notches you know like this for example uh, so adjust make it really small and you know, drop it somewhere here and then you can uh, um, let's place it so let's move it to cursor actually and then GUI move it in here so it's gonna be dead on and then we're going to move it up and then project it so should work there we go and then what you want to do is you want to array this so mesh tools and control click on radio and boom right it goes around and then well, all we need to do is match it um, i think it's already matched well so let's just leave it it's fine that looks really awesome um here we could have some pressure locks or whatnot maybe some another hatch like a smaller one kind of like a i don't know maintenance entry or whatnot let's just adjust it so it's not aligned there we go and d and project it and then we can go with d match uh, d and match the outside there we go match one more time d boom right so it's here and it's kind of offset to the other side and we could have something in the bottom here too so some kind of a <clears throat> middle bit here so select this face here and shift s cursor to face and then this one to cursor okay and we can just project it so project now this one's gonna be on top of it let's just delete it for a second and let's match the the middle to to be white i think it's gonna actually know why it's gonna be boring now uh, let's make it darker um, hmm maybe silver yeah it's gonna look good now we need some trim here around i think because it looks a little bit on the boring side now see this one this is the decal uh, this decal here spelling outside yeah so what we can do we can cut it right watch this so i'm gonna grab a cylinder right and i'm gonna increase it to 50 and I'm gonna scale it in like this, right? Until it's uh, encompassing the entire shape of this decal here. And then I'm gonna select the decal and I'm going to go with uh, uh, booleans and slash. So now what I can do is I can select that and delete it. So I'm gonna, only the middle is gonna be left. You can trim the decals if you want to, because now what I can do, right? I can insert this rim here a little bit. And I can run a, run a um, trim here. So uh, let's go to powdered silver, assign D, and I want to run something cool in here. This could do. Well, that's actually interesting. Why not? And then we had, could have some other decals here, you know. So, for example, here we could have uh, some kind of vent. Um, so could scale it up um rotate it right scale it in and assign it here kind of align it here with this d and project it right boom right and then let's match this so d match d shift 
and match the interior so it kind of you know looks like there is some kind of a vent here and i think we should do the same thing on the other side so what we could do is back to uh, cursor rotation select that shift d r and literally rotate it in here okay so we got this gap here in between and uh, we could add some other elements here you know um, like maybe something like this okay uh, you know one here right and maybe another one another one here so it's kind of offset d and project and i think i'm gonna keep them like that this is actually pretty cool so here what we're gonna do is we're going to grab a curve from here and we're gonna extract it so curve extract right and uh, we have a curve here so uh, let's let's move it up a little bit and then we're going to grab a decal um one of the longer ones and let's go to local view and then alt uh alt g alt r and uh alt g there we go and we're going to select that shift select that go to hard ups curves isn't that a curve oh it's not hang on let me convert it to curve i forgot um so we're gonna go to curve extract and then we're gonna press x which will convert it to a curve right so like this one shift select that one and then click on the curve which we're going to align this with a curve r y 90 r x minus 90 okay it's not bending it because there is no no subdivision i think that's the problem where is my decal there we go let's introduce some subdivision here now I should get curved there we go okay let's move it on y axis there we go and extend it on z yeah on z it's a bit of fiddling but it's actually quite interesting what you can do with it g z z and then you can move this okay on z axis there we go move it somewhere here so we can apply that and try to project it now it's not gonna work that's cool we're gonna shrink wrap it so select this select this one and q let's go to our modifiers and let's just shrink wrap it okay so we're gonna shrink wrap it and uh on the surface and then let's project apply the shrink wrap and i think it should be fine it should be on the floor so now we can do is go to edit mode shift dr and we can clone it to the top over there so we got two of them not three but two is gonna be kind of you know asymmetrical and that looks pretty dope here on the outer rim uh, we could have some kind of bolts or whatnot so you know here um, shift d and and then we could project it and let's uh, actually apply this so d match it the shift to match it to the uh, floor and then um, make sure you write it on the cursor shift d r hold control and snap it and then shift r and repeat it okay a few times and then we're gonna be uh, using shift d r hold control and move it on z axis around here okay and then uh, shift the r and z and hold control and then shift r shift r okay and maybe one more time there we go and you got these kind of bolts around which looks pretty dope we could have something here as well uh, maybe you could add caution in here um this could actually make sense here right so you know caution in this area we just change it to individual um somewhere here right and project and uh we could change this to actually this is fine i think um there you go so there you go guys uh, i think this will do I, I think this one is a little bit too strong here but uh something could be here on the other side 
maybe something like this maybe this would work project match the shift maybe that will do what if it's gonna be a different color something like this hmm yeah this could work this could work it's gonna pull nicely over there cool so let's grab another floor here so plain and you know drop it down so GZ and maybe uh, we could just apply this it's okay like a white color and uh, maybe bring it up a little bit There you go. Grab a camera. I'm 135 and lock the view. And we're going to crop it like this, okay? So it's going to be a bit more interesting. And it's really reflective too. Hmm, maybe we should make it darker, after all, just to kind of lock, you know, lock the focus into the, into the middle, you know, something like this. Actually, this is kind of cool. Let's unlock this and we're good to go. Alright guys, well, thanks so much for watching. Like I said, the material pack is going to be coming, uh, probably second half of this year. Uh, we're working on the add-on with proxy, still need more materials, etc. But it's coming along really nicely so you know and uh, the decal pack you can grab it from our website it's the ultimate uh, decal and trim sheet pack it's a fantastic value for money so grab it if you don't have it thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one